Today we're coming at you from little Haiti. Recently, all you have seen about Haiti on TV is... Haiti's dying. After years of deterioration across the country and the rise of a federation of criminal gangs so powerful that they now run most of the country, the Caribbean nation of Haiti has been on the brink for some time. Now though, it appears as if the country is on the precipice of complete and total collapse. Thousands of dangerous prisoners have been released onto the streets. The gangs are working to secure and hold the nation's main airport, and acting president Ariel Henry is stranded outside his own country, with no apparent means to get back in if the gangs can take complete control. A bold, multinational, and potentially transformative intervention, finally poised to be led by Kenya after months of diplomatic chess matches, now seems as if it won't come in time to save Haiti. I have learned that there is a big Haitian community in Miami living in an area known as Little Haiti. So I have decided to pay them a visit. Let's see what their life is like, what they eat, what they do, and most importantly, what they think about what is going on in their country. I'm very excited to be here. This place is called? Wynwood. And uh... it's like Midtown Miami. Uh, oh, Wynwood. Okay. It's, uh, it's good to come in the daytime like right now or even at night because they have bars, clubs, lounges, everything here at night. And it's like, uh, this is more where the locals hang out at. This is the clubs and bars where locals go. Um, South Beach is tourists, we all know that. She uh, told me she wants to check out Little Haiti. And you know, I'm from Miami, guys. So I figured, hey, let's go check out Little Haiti, show her the area, show her, and we're gonna try some Haitian food, authentic Haitian food here in Miami. Um, so guys, if you rock with me and I rock with you, those who already know me, I'm checking effect. You already know, if you come to Miami, I'll let your boy, I'm the plug. You already know, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's roll. When he says he's a plug, he really is. He knows what he's saying. Okay guys, so we are now entering Little Haiti. That's what he's telling me. Um, Why is this place called Little Haiti? Is it because it's, um, it's got so many of them in one particular place or? Yes. How did um, the name come up? The name came up because uh, a lot of Haitians came here during the 70s mm -hmm. um, for a political asylum. And um, a lot of them, there's Haitians, there's North Miami is a lot of Haitians, but this area is called Little Haiti because a lot of them settled here and they even did protests. Mm -hmm. They did a lot of protests in Miami and this area. So because there's so many Haitians here and in the area and there's a lot of uh, business going on with uh, Haitian development and business. So this area just became Little Haiti. Mm -hmm. That's how the name came about. But through gentrification, Little Haiti is actually bigger than you really think, but now they're changing, they're trying to change the name of certain areas. Mm -hmm. So when the developers build and new people are trying to move in, they don't have the name Little Haiti. They have the name like, like right now they got a name called Little River. Mm -hmm. And I never even heard of Little River, but it's part of Little Haiti, but they use the name Little River. So when person moves in, it doesn't have the Haitian in it. You know? We are in Little Haiti. Um, we're gonna be taking you guys around. I'm very excited. If you're from Haiti, please uh, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with your people. I'm very excited to be here. We're gonna be going around, and maybe we'll meet people from Haiti, and maybe they're gonna talk to us. You never know. Cross your fingers for us. I hope everything is gonna be okay. Um, yeah. So where are we? All right. Um, so we are here at 57th. 57th Street and 2nd Avenue. This area right here is uh, one of the spots in Little Haiti. And a lot of Hello, people... Haiti, hey, hey you know, hi. Haiti. You're from Haiti? He thinks you speak... See, he thinks you speak... He thinks you speak Creole, but oh, no. she's from Kenya. Oh, sorry. She's I African, came from Haiti. African. We all African. I came from Haiti when I was three years old, man. Oh, oh, really? You're from Haiti? Haiti? My MD County, yeah. Oh, wow. What do you think about, you know, Haiti? What do you, what do you think about your country? Right now, you know... It's, it's not what you think it is right now, but you know, everybody got to suffer, you know, we got to do, we got to do, we gotta support them, you know? Yeah. Everything gonna get back right, we're just trying to get right. We're just trying to get right. Yeah, if you have any message for, you know, your people in Haiti, what will that I'm be? People in Haiti, man, we got y'all, man, we're just trying to get right. You know, we just over here, listen, he don't look like he's Asian, but he's Asian. Oh, really? Yeah. Like no, 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 it's not funny. I got one money. question for you, sweetheart. What's up? Cause you, I got one question for you. What's, what's, what's wrong on your left eye? My left eye? What's wrong with it? Cause you looking right with your fine self. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, they are beautiful. Oh, no. 
That's right, what happens right. when you're in Little Haiti. Yeah. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you're in Little Haiti, that's what happens. You think you're going to walk around here and we're going to put down on you? You crazy? That's how Munio Fable. It's so always good with the new man. I like your smile and all that. Like, what's good? Yeah, he from Kibel. Yeah, he from your Kibel, man. Munio Pala with you. Bell Fum. Bell Fum. You buy Zwick on Sarve. Bell Fum. This is what we're going to do, right? I don't want your new mail. I'm going to give you my new mail. And you're going to call me whenever you, whenever your boyfriend break your heart. <laughs> oh my God. What did hey, you just say? I'm not part of this. Hey. I'm not part of this. So it's good. This so I can get right. I can get right out there. You're so funny. Oh my so God, you're right. so funny. All right, let me get a hug out so there. Funny. All right, you take care of yourself. So nice to meet you. Hi, Zibi. You know how I see it. I had a show with him. Hey, I You know, we got more spots. They're gonna show you more spots. Yeah, we'd love, we'd love that. Have you already went to the Culture Center? That's no where we're going next. What, what street is it on? Where is it um, at? It's right oh, here by 58th oh, Street. Right. On, on this street. On this yeah, app. Like cool. Sisters, man. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, dead yeah. ass looking for a wife from, out there. Like, you looking like, you, you looking like that baby out there. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't. God dang. What's good with you? Yeah. Right? so funny, man. Right? You, you, guess what? That's how I know I'm in the door because I make you smile and make you laugh. You're going to be smiling and laughing all your life. When you fucking with a nigga like me, baby. Yeah. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you Although Catholicism is the official religion of the people of Haiti, some of them have infused traditional religions such as voodoo. We are kicking off this tour by starting off in a voodoo shop. Oh, I'm so nervous. I won't lie. I've never done anything like this before. I am told they are also called botanical. So if ever you're at Little Haiti and you come across a little store called botanical, it's probably a spiritual shop. Uh, hey, hey, spiritual, um, like, uh, like for example, evil spirits, or if you want to like be blessed, you come in here and they have like spiritual things here in this store right here. So it's well known. A lot of people come here. So oh, so it's a spiritual shop. Yeah, spiritual shop to, to help you with the like evil spirits. And yeah, get rid like of evil yeah, spirits. Yeah. Good energy. Yeah. So let's check it out. This is it right here. Wow. What what is this store called? This is actually, uh, it's called Santa ba Barbara Botanica. Oh, up there, yeah. Santa Barbara Botanica. Okay, let's go in. So they're probably doing something spiritual. We can't go in there with cameras. Oh no. Can we go in without a camera by stage? No. Oh, so I was really like, looking forward to going in. It looks like he's might be doing something in there, like that cameras, you know. Mm -hmm. Um like I told you it's a spiritual place. Mm -hmm. But when you say spiritual, is it like is it like church spiritual or like witchcraft and stuff like that or well, what do you mean? Uh you know, hey, uh, in the Haitian culture, not every, not everybody, but in the Haitian culture, they believe, uh, like, for example, if I have, if I'm going through something, and I want someone to bless me, mm. like it could be something evil, it could be something um, evil, it could even be something to where uh, I'm going through like anything with uh, domestic or with court, like you know, uh, and I need to be blessed to try to, you know get rid of it they can you can come here so it's just their culture yeah it's part of the culture but not everyone does it okay but that's what's going on right now so they won't let us uh go up in there you know but do you think we'll we be able come to back. come back yeah hopefully i hope so okay let's keep going Little Haiti is huge, so it's decided to check out other areas of the community, including the cultural center. So here we are. Hello. We have some bloggers. Yes. Yes, we are bloggers. You guys can turn around and sign in right there on that little sheet. Um, right here to your left is the. Look at the archive. Hi, welcome to Little Haiti Cultural Center. Um, right here to our left is going to be an exhibition, a little bit about the history of uh, Miami. And then further in there is going to be an exhibition with female photographers for Women's History Month. Okay. So enjoy yourself. Thank, Thank you. So yes. Are you from Haiti? My family's from Haiti. Really? Yes. Oh, wow. Yes, my um, mother is from Port-au-Prince, my dad's from Laguna. Wow, have you been there before? Yes, I have. What Absolutely do you think beautiful. about Haiti? 
um, Laguna is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. It makes me think like, why are we here in America? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you can see your toes in the water, baby. Like, oh, wow. We had like fresh caught fish and seafood being grilled on the boat while you're in the water you're eating. Oh, wow. Beautiful stuff, beautiful. Well, if you have a message to you people in Haiti, what will that message be? That message will be, keep our heads up. We're headed towards a great direction and victory is ours. Thank you. Thank you. Should I also? We have to sign in before we go. I love how the lady was so friendly. If this was Africa, I would not So this, I guess, tells the story of yeah. your people. Uh, yep. right. I wish we had someone who would give us a tour. But they have images on the wall that tell a story. Are these real? I don't know. Oh my god, this can't be real, can they? Are they real? Yeah. That's, they look like scalps, but painted. Yeah. The ancestors active in the past, present and future. They are defiant, they are resilient, they are spirits of the disappeared and displaced, once forgotten by many in Miami, now reclaimed by ambitious events and exhibit in a call to the ancestors in according to the american government there are over a hundred thousand people living in dead county miami this makes miami the state with the highest number of haitian origin people most of these haitian people moved here during the 1960s and 1970s when they were escaping dictatorship and harsh conditions so the good thing about coming here is that it's actually free you don't have to pay so you can come in and learn um, about the people their history and then just leave that's amazing oh, wow look at this art this is a haiti flag right yeah. interesting what's up with the hand what story is this i actually don't know about this one <laughs> that's why it would have been good for me to have somebody but I don't know if the hand broke by accident or if it actually is like that because there's one whole arm missing mm -hmm. and one hand missing so guys uh, you know people from some people from Haiti practice voodoo and were saying um, he was telling me voodoo is just a religion yeah it's, you know? it's, it's a religion but it's been looked down upon yeah um because it could be voodoo could be it's you know you have people who practice it for good and then the ones who practice it for bad mm -hmm. make the whole religion looks bad yeah so it's called voodooism and you know obviously it came from africa yeah, it originated from africa yeah, do you guys know that yeah originated from africa so when the slaves were shipped different places some went to jamaica some went to haiti and the ones who went to the, a lot of them that went to Haiti that came from certain places in Africa, they brought the culture with them. Yeah, I think I've heard it said that m many people from Haiti are from Togo. Yes. Places like Togo. Sierra Leone. Yeah. Togo, like Togo, Togo, Benin. Togo. People in Togo are known to practice voodoo. Yeah. We are um, not saying it's bad. It's just a religion. Yeah. But a lot of what a lot of people don't realize is Haitian and Jamaican are very close tied. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of them, some Haitians could look like Jamaicans, some Jamaicans could look like Haitians, because. During the slavery, a lot of the hate, like if a, the Jamaicans who kind of was rebelling, mm -hmm. they would send them to Haiti. So the ones who, like that. yeah, the, the the slaves in Jamaica, they would send them to Haiti. One of the famous Jamaican uh, who helped Haiti win the independence is a guy named Bukman. Mm -hmm. Bukman is Jamaican. Mm -hmm. He came from Jamaica to Haiti. So it was groups of slaves that came from Jamaica to Haiti. So it's a lot of. Uh, you know mixture with the Jamaican and the Haitians except once you're in Haiti over time you're just it's Haitian it's no no longer Jamaican so he actually helped he was a big influence that helped the Haitian people win the independence oh, wow. which is Jamaican which there's a lot of bloodline with the Jamaican most people don't know that most people don't talk about it but yeah
interesting because i heard that during back then during slavery days when um, the slaves misbehaved or they tried to rebel mm -hmm. they'd be taken to haiti yeah that's like yeah. where the worst ones the were worst taken ones, yeah um the french so and that's what bookman was one of them so most people just think bookman that one guy knows mm -hmm. groups of them that wow. went so so a lot of like some haitians and some jamaicans you can't really tell them apart unless they speak wow so it's it's, it's just a bloodline do they, you know? do they have a pigeon do they speak for their patois um haitians yeah. speak uh it's it's called creole which is broken down french ah. which is considered like a patois just like the, the, the patois english mm -hmm. it's like a broken down french which is creole um so a lot of haitians not all but some of them could actually understand french um, and actually when I went to Haiti and did vlogs in Haiti, uh, most of the time when I was watching TV it was mostly in French. Oh wow. So most, yeah, the kids and all that, it was mostly in French. Because I actually did a video there uh, in a place called Jacques Mel. And I showed people Jacques Mel because it's a place where I was recording, just like you with my camera out. And I was recording people and uh, nothing happened. Even at nighttime I was like, but the main city, which is Port-au-Prince, that's where all the bad crimes and kidnappings and all the bad things are happening. So, yeah. There goes there go somebody. Hi. Who's that? <laughs> What's up, my brother? This Hello. Is a, Hi. This is a, Good. This is a follower of mine. What's your name, brother? Edio Cores. Edio Cores, yeah, man. So, we here at, we were just. She's actually from Kenya. Okay. Hey. Hi. And we're sh I was showing her the uh, complex in the little Haiti area, man. So go ahead and park. We can talk a little bit, man. All right, right here. Yeah, yeah. Look at you. This is my hometown. Oh right wow, now. must be that, nice, you man. People that know me. Yo, I'm walking <laughs> with a celebrity. That's what's so up. <laughs> Do you get this all the time? Uh, huh? Do you get this all the time when you're walking around? Uh, yeah, but it always happens when I least expect it. Uh, like, like now? And it sometimes it. it happens when I don't want it to happen. Mm -hmm. Like now I don't have a problem. But um, one time I was, when I was going to Ghana, I had, I had changed my flight mm -hmm. and booked it to a different airline. So I'm thinking I'm with, this, with Qatar. I'm thinking I'm going with Qatar. And when I got there, they couldn't find my flight. And I found out it was with a different airline. So I was running late. While I'm running late, guess what? Someone Two people fine. knew me. And you know, when you're on camera, when somebody pull out, and they pull out their camera, mm -hmm. you don't want to be rude, because yeah. then it's going to look like you're a bad person. But I'm really <laughs> running late. I can't I really know, be, right? you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it happens a lot when um, I least expect it. So it's just crazy. Wow. Yeah. He was talking to me. Now I have a problem with him. He was talking to me for a long time. What's up, my brother? Oh, wow. Uh, yo, yo, we got to start this over. Yeah, right. he should already record. <laughs> yeah. He called me a, The man called so me a legend. legend. Oh, legend. oh, man. Yeah. That's, oh, wow. that's epic, yes, man. Yes, yes. Thank you, my brother. Hey, no worries. No worries. How was Nigeria? Oh, man. Nigeria was fun. Okay. Hectic. Yes, yes, yes. But everybody's telling me I got to go to the north. Yeah, you do. You got to Everybody say, yo, bro, everyone, every time some people come hey. to Nigeria, every time people come to. How's it going? Oh, I, th I thought I recognized you for no. sure. Oh, okay, sorry about that. I'll be handshake though. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, so every time uh, people come to Nigeria, they always go to the Lagos, Lagos, Lagos. Yes, sir. And, it, and, it, and, and what happens is everybody from that watch social media, they see Lagos. When I heard the North is very beautiful. It is. And more people need to explore and they stop doing only Lagos. I got a lot of that on my messages. Like check, go up north, check. So I told myself whenever I come back to Nigeria, I'm going north. Yes, mm. sir. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Are Thank you from Nigeria? Nigerian originally. Yes. Really? But well, I'm American citizen. Now. Oh nice. There it is. She's from Kenya. I'm Kenya. from Kenya, nice yeah. To meet you. Nice, nice to meet you too. <laughs> <laughs> What's Any, your name again? I'm Trudy. Trudy, Trudy. Yes, Miss Trudy on YouTube. Oh, so you got your own uh thing yeah. as well? Oh, mm -hmm. very nice. Is it connected to his? Can I find yours on him? No, no, no. We are we are just doing a collaboration. Collaboration, yeah. okay. Yeah. But you're gonna you're gonna find her, just type in Miss Trudy. Miss Trudy. Miss and then T R U D. All right. Yes, kid? Not yet. Not yet? Oh yeah. wow, wow. Married? Not. 
You're know, following me already. Yeah, you know, I did see one of yours. I should mistreat it. I did see one of yours. Was it with Ghana Baby or something? Yeah. That was with Ghana Baby. Yeah, yeah that's, that's my right. husband. Oh, that's your husband? Yeah. Oh, no way. No. You said it's a famous Haitian bookstore. A Haitian bookstore, and it's really important right now because in uh, Haiti, I'm sure if you see the news, yeah. they have a lot of like uh, political problems yeah, right now, yeah. strife big, and things big, like that, big. right? So, uh, the owner of the store, he seems to understand a lot about it and have a lot of books about Haiti. Oh, really? So, yeah, it'd be, it could be a good idea to oh, go. nice. At least yeah. pay homage. Yeah, pay homage to that, yeah. Yes, sir. Also, I want to check out the, the, the Pete Saint Louis tour. Okay. Statue. Yeah. And um, then we're going to check out um, Chef Creole. Okay. That was oh, good. man. I'm excited yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to check out Chef Creole. But we might check out another restaurant before we hit chef creole just to okay uh so she because chef creole is more modernized a little bit yes yes, yes. so the at least the other restaurant is not as modern modernized so we're gonna try to just yes. check out both all right you said you've yeah. been here since 1990 yes i wasn't even born that's oh, really? so long yeah, that's no wonder you don't sound like a nigerian no i you know i can sound nigerian if you want me to sound nigerian <laughs> but i'm not actually actually nigerian anymore, oh, <laughs> anymore. um uh, when's the last time you were in Nigeria? Uh, probably 2008. Oh. So it's been a bit with my ex-girlfriend. I've been there before oh. him. Yeah. Oh, you were there before 2008? No, I was there after. after. Oh, after. after. Oh, okay. okay, we can go here right quick. Any okay. message to Nigerians watching? A message to Nigerians? Just keep the faith. Keep the faith. Have fun. Enjoy your life. Make the best of your life. What about to Haiti? The Haiti people? To Haiti. Saka fe, saka passe, naboule. What does that mean? Uh, I think that's like, what's up? Remember How you I doing? Said that on the boat? Yeah. Yo, I can't boat? remember. Yeah. Remember on the board, I said, if you know you're from Miami, when you when you know what when you say what's sac up uh, sac passe. Uh, yeah, I think you said it means what's like up. That. Most people in Miami, it don't matter who that's you Spanish? are. That's Spanish. No, that's French Creole. If most people, if you're from Miami, you know what sac passe means. Uh, most of everybody knows. Yeah. That's why I said it on the boat. Oh. Sac up. Cafe. No. Um, my name is Trudy. Bon baba, 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 French or no? No, I don't speak French. You can say bonbon. <laughs> bonbon, <laughs> oh, trivia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. No, no, no English. No English. Yeah. I, I just come in. I just come. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, yes. thank. It's so crazy how literally everyone we are meeting on the street here is originally from Haiti. Wow, and some of them just can't speak English. So this right here is guy called Pima Book. He has a restaurant and this guy is pretty much famous in the Haitian community because he I, th I believe he came in the 70s or 80s to the United States and he started off with a radio station. Mm -hmm. uh, just he was well he didn't own the radio station. He was just a person that comes in that has a session like from seven to nine just speaking to the Haitian people on the Haitian radio station. He saved up his money started opening up a business he had a gas station obviously now he has a restaurant oh and then what what became big about him is he actually started his own radio station now oh. so he went from being a segment on the radio to actually Statue. owning his own oh, wow. station so now he has his own station this is what his name is this is his restaurant but unfortunately we're not going to go in because we got other places we're going to go but just a quick little history of that and we're going to check out the pictures right here thank you for the information you know right. oh there go bookman perfect okay. you want to do that first what yeah. do you jamaican. think jamaican guy that came from jamaica to haiti <laughs> Uh oh, it's so bad. Oops, saying good. Checking the fake out y'all doing illegal crossings. <laughs> this is Bookman, which is oh. a very famous, very famous uh, uh, slave that came from Jamaica to Haiti. And back in the days when the slavery was like being rebellious, they would send them to Haiti because it was harsh there. And this guy went to Haiti. Went to Haiti, and uh, him going to Haiti was a good thing because he helped the Haitian people uh, gain their independence. So Bookman oh, wow. played a major role. That's why he has a lot of statues, and he's big. He helped the Haitians get their independence. So there was a group of Jamaicans, a big groups of Jamaicans that came from slaves, African slaves, from that was in Jamaica, that went to Haiti to actually, uh, and they helped 
with the colonization having uh, in 1804 was the year. So that's what this guy is very important. That's why you see a lot of pictures of him. Wow. So Jamaican and Haitian are closely tied. Yeah. Oh. Closely tied. We have the Haitian flag. That's the Haitian yeah. flag. That's French. Ah, what does it mean? It means uh, union. Union together with his force. Yeah. Together with three. Check it effect gonna give you some history on the Haiti. So around here we have some beautiful arts on the wall that tells a story yeah, of the I'm people of Haiti. Take a picture in front of this one. Okay. Definitely taking a picture in front of this one. Uh, another Haitian general that helped free the slave, Jean-Jacques Dessalines. That's right. Okay. That's also the Haitian flag right there. Given that you're partly from Haiti or you have roots there what are your thoughts on what is happening and what message would you have for the people of haiti well it's um i mean it's a tough situation what's going on but um you know with the the economic crisis you know but haiti was just a country that um a lot of people they helped a lot of people when they became free they helped a lot of countries and they're just not getting that help back so what kind of help would you guys need or will they need um well they would i mean i don't want to get too political because we're on camera but certain things that happened that they were supposed to get funded and they never got funded and haiti had even though they beat the french and became independent they owed the french so much money right. and i heard they just finished paying like last year or something wow. just imagine from freed slave wow. to now yeah. and which year was that uh 1804 1804 where it's at right there oh 1804 wow is when they got the independence so you got to think about kenya's independence think about nigeria's independence right. mm -hmm. y'all in this what 60s, 60s? 60s. Yeah. yeah this is 1804 right. wow okay. so that mean they have been independent way long time you know if it's because of haiti a lot of other countries will not be independent mm -hmm. so what happened was when they became independent in 1804 no one knew because the the first first world country said let's keep it a secret mm -hmm. we don't want nobody else to know because guess what they'd encourage other people they were encourage other same. blacks to free themselves to free themselves oh haiti is free oh we're gonna do it too so it's been a secret but they had so much debt it's crazy and they just finished paying the debt so it's 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 a lot of history to it you know it's not it's a lot to it but yeah that's it right there so I guess we could check out the bookstore. Sure. I don't know. We're what actually leaving this area and we come across the most beautiful art. And it's about Haiti. Oh, it's called, well, it says, Welcome to Little Haiti. Oh, wow. King Maya. What? It's written King Maya up there. Can you guys see it? I'm not making it up. Hey, guys. So I just wanted to show you. We came across this very beautiful art on the wall. Oh, and it's the one place you've come across that welcomes us to little haiti it says welcome to little haiti and it tells a story apparently apparently if i'm right according to what they have written here um this place was actually called uh lemon city and this couple on the wall turned lemon city into little haiti so we want to learn more about their story so i hope we can meet people who and if you're from here drop a comment let us know tell us the story behind this place yeah that's the story. this one i don't know and i don't want to make wrong assumptions on camera and people be on on youtube saying check you're wrong Duh! you know how they are they always they were always ready to correct you so guys in the comment section if you know about this you guys tell us what it is because i don't know and we're definitely going to ask someone i'm going to remind her to ask people so just so we can know. so i just wanted to show guys tell you guys that i get confused sometimes when i'm coming to the car i always yeah, go to his side i gotta keep pointing i know Every time she like, come, my point go on that side she <laughs> like, keep coming to the like, she keep coming to the driver's so she keeps coming to the driver's side yeah it's because that's how our cars are in yeah, africa i know i get it you're so accustomed to it you have to try haitian patties too oh i, yeah. I hope i'll get some okay i really okay. hope i'll get some i know patties oh is that bob marley oh my god that's bob marley yeah. oh Remember That's I told so you the Haitian cool. people are very big into Jamaican culture. Oh yeah? Like they all, yeah, they listen about Marley. I didn't I didn't know that. I didn't know Haitians and Jamaicans are pretty close. Yeah, are. That's amazing. Yeah. I've had Jamaican parties and I've been thinking about them and I've been I wish I had more of them because they're so tasty. So now that you're here, I'd love to have a Haitian parties. 
Okay, so we've stopped here to ask for directions. Hello. 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 Get the money to that area. I told you that. What's that? What What you said about Bilkman? Bill Clinton is still Haiti, 2011. So what do you mean he's still Haiti? Can you Can you face the side because of the sun? I let him say. What happened? What did he do? You know what he do. He steal the money. And he don't. He don't come back. Either. I was telling her the struggles of Haiti is not Haiti's fault. There's a lot of things that's going on. That's why Haiti is struggling right now. That's why I was telling. But Haiti fuck up right now. We go no government in Haiti. Mm, yeah. Miami, all the president chief. Oh, there's a got stray hands in the U.S. as well. Wow. Hey hands. No, I just want to show the hands. Oh wow, hands, hands. Hello. How are you doing, sweet? I'm good. You me wrong. Sorry, I'm I sorry. I didn't, I, I didn't show you. Ah. I was just trying to show the hands. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm trying to show the hens. I didn't know in the States they have... Thank you. I didn't know in the States they have hens running around. This is, is interesting. Matter of, fact, <laughs> matter of fact, you just said you don't know in the States we got hens. We got this thing called Hemingway hens. And they're chickens or cats. They're Hemingway cats. They're cats with five toes. Five Six toes? toes. Six, Six toes. toes? Yeah. It's called Hemingway cats. And That's they're in Key yeah. And and you you have hens running around randomly yeah, yeah, in so the you, US. Yes. Yeah, so you, you know in we saw that in Barbados and they say they don't eat such hens. Ah, that's a lot. Oh, what, what are they? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we got hens running around too. Long. And you guys eat them? Um, or do you call them wild hens? We don't people don't just catch those and eat them. I mean unless it's somebody That's what we do in Africa, you know. know. So I'm shocked to see them. I thought Kenji, Kenji. Kenyeji. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So where are we? Alright, so it's not Lubachur. Mm -hmm. And he was, you can read it, a pioneer of the Pan Africanism and the, the movement, um, the independence of Haiti. Oh. He was, uh, he abolished slavery in the Americas May 20, 1743. See, even people that's not Haitian know about this guy. Oh, and this really? is uh, a Karafu, Karafu, which is, um, it's Karafu, which is, a place that, that it's a piece of land that a lot of Haitians back in the days in the 80s 90s early 2000s they used to come here and demonstrate they didn't have this they didn't have none of these seats and a uh, little bench they just had land and a flag oh, wow. that's it and um, the Haitian people will come here and and do demonstrations for the Haitian people in Miami and it's coming up now like even this is little Haiti but North Miami has a lot of Haitians I love how uh, it's kind of a small park. People can just come yeah. and sit down. Yeah, it's very small. It laps right next to the road. Yeah, it's small, but but uh, it wasn't all this. Like they didn't have all this. It was just big land. That that was the only thing that they had was that flag. And if you notice that flag, you see they got a, a lock on it. Yeah. Because a long time ago, when they used to put this flag up here, the person who would come here and take care of this place. It was not owned by him, but he would come and take care of it. Uh, there, and every time he puts a flag, and then late at night, someone will go up and steal it. Why? Because that flag is worth money. You can uh, sell it. Ah, okay. That but it wouldn't be that, that been, expensive. That one has been staying there for a while, so it kind of faded because of the sun. But when it's in good shape, you can get that flag and sell it for twenty-five dollars. That might not be that much, but these people yeah, in the streets. Yeah, someone needs it. These uh, people in the streets who can make an easy twenty dollars. 24 hours they'll climb up there midnight wow yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i get your point mm -hmm. that's why they got that big I see what you mean uh so i have come across this lady on the streets and she's told me that um she's actually from haiti hello hi how are you i'm okay thank you you want to um, sit here sit here okay and you can interview before you're from haiti yes ma'am oh wow how long have you been here well i left haiti when i was four four years yes. that's a long time yes <laughs> so have you ever been back since you came well when i when i first got uh to haiti but i always go for vacation and mm -hmm. come back okay. but uh 
with my grandma after my grandma died i haven't said that ah. since 2000. okay uh what do you love most about haiti i love i love the way i love those tender of living it's the chicken stand of living back when i was living with my grandma because she raised me the standard of living was very cheap for 15 cents you were getting a lot of stuff for yeah. 15 cents 15 cents mm -hmm. you were getting food uh, uh the water to drink everything so compared to America, Haiti is very affordable, right? I don't know for now because I've been back since my yeah, yeah, yeah. died. Mm -hmm. But one day, because I heard so many things about Haiti that's not funny. Mm -hmm. So many things that the media say. I don't know, but I would like to come so, so back. Uh, oh, because of what you see on the media? What the media saying? Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that they talk about, I'm not saying they talk lies. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that. Whatever they're saying is not a good thing. About Haiti. They talk about chaos. 24-7. Yeah. They talk about chaos. Mm -hmm. I don't like, I'm not coming back to a chaotic place mm -hmm. where I can breathe, breathe fresh air right here. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Unless when I was a little girl. I don't want to go back into something that is, you know, that I cannot control. Mm -hmm. this out. There's a lot of things I can't control. Yeah. The weather, we cannot control the weather. Only he can. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So whatever they're saying is up to up to them to make the, the tablet go back. To make and meet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Whatever they say. Yeah. That's none of my business. That's not that's none of my that, that's what I'm going for. Okay, so if you had any message for the people of Haiti, what would that be? Take heart, because things going to be better. Okay. After the earthquake, and that just, you know, things going back to normal. Because I heard after the earthquake, things, things going back to normal. Yeah. That means that there's, uh, there's hope. Mm -hmm. That means the fruits, vegetables, going back. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And I would like to sing. Oh, okay. Today is a beautiful day because oh, our Lord today make it possible because the Lord is terrible. Today is a beautiful day because he made it happen for me and you because because only because of the almighty god of bethlehem jerusalem yes we are safe only today today is a beautiful day he made it possible for me and you because uh, he went and uh, he went and uh, because only because of him. Oh, that's a beautiful voice. Thank you. Wow. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Oh, jeez, man. Bless you. God bless you. Wow. wow man the lady sang for me she sang and she's from haiti so she said she came here when she was four. Oh wow she yeah. sang good yeah nice guys this is very interesting as you're moving around you're coming across a couple of businesses with the flag of haiti on them like the one right um in front of us it's a repair shop car repair shop and these haiti flags look at that that's interesting the guys are repping their country and um, many of them have been here for so many years and it's good to see that they've not completely lost their culture what's up man this is uh check and effect and this is a big restaurant right here, famous restaurant called Sissy Bon, and they known for the patties. 
the Haitian patties, but they go so fast that you have to come in the morning to get them. You have to come like before noon to get them. So we was gonna come here and get some Haitian patties, but they're all out. Oh, so man. we're gonna check out somewhere else. Um, hopefully we can have her try oh, some Haitian patties. I really wanna try this patties. Yeah. Is, is it a patty Look, or a patty? <gasps> See, another, another hen. <laughs> So this is also happens in America. Ha, huh, it's not just an African thing. What's up, y'all? How you doing? So guys would usually not eat this. You Americans nah. would usually not eat this. No. Nah? Nah, it's a wild hen, huh? Yeah, it's a wild hen. But you know in Africa they say this is the sweetest kind of hen. Uh, I can see that I can believe that. <laughs> yeah, would you eat it? I would, yeah. <laughs> I would eat it, but we just we don't we're not hurting like that to where we see a hen and we just kill it and eat it. <laughs> We Must buy, be nice. We go to KFC and buy. We go to KFC and buy chicken. Yeah, but this hen is living the life, man. If you're in Africa, lucky you, man. <laughs> Hi, okay. are you from Haiti? Uh, yeah, I'm from Haiti. You're from Haiti. Can I ask you a question on camera? What? Whatever. So, um, how long have you been in America? A long time. I'm here. Oh. I'm here. Okay. When's the last time you were in Haiti? Last time I'm going. I from the Haiti. Mm -hmm. Uh, 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 2021 I come back oh, I come back here okay uh, any message to people in Haiti oh, God, I'm not speaking very good I speak more English in girl I'm I speak more Spanish oh. okay you can say I'm it in speak Spanish to, I'm yeah the you Spanish I'm uh, say it in I speak Spanish very good say it you need I give you this one I need to Haiti the message for the Haiti okay the message for the people of Haiti I tell them have patience Un día como hoy, Haití va a liberar por completo. No vas a tener miedo de andar en el mundo, porque somos haitianos, somos gente negro que lucha por ganar la libertad. La libertad de nosotros, lo tomamos nosotros, echamos la sangre para ganar la libertad. No tenemos la libertad por el favor, tenemos la libertad porque luchamos por él. Thank you. Damos la sangre por la libertad. Okay, somos Haitiano. We're Haitians. We fight. We're Haitians. We fight for our freedom because we're Haitians. We're black. We fight for our freedom. Oh wow, that's yeah, what you say. Because we are Haitian, yeah. How do you say thank you? Gracias. Gracias. Ya yes, terminaste? No hay más? Hasta ahí llega? Yeah. Okay, está bien. Oh, Te saludo a todo el mundo. Salud. Guys, we are back. It was uh, during the day when we came here, but we were told we couldn't go in because something was going on inside. I hope this time they actually allow us to go in. So, let's see what's up. Oh, wow. Sage is what I'm gonna buy. It's, it helps with the evil spirits in your house. It's, it's, a, it's actually like a plant, you know? So it's, so this is where you can get the sage at. They have different prices. This is a small one. They can get, so if you guys are interested in getting sage, you come out here, they got sage. They got a, a lot of things here, artifacts. So how artifacts. long does this take to burn off? Um, boss, how long will you think it take to burn? What is it been? Huh? Is it been? It depends. Yeah, yeah when, I, if I, when I buy this, it takes me a long time to burn it. They don't just burn in a couple days. Like, this will probably last me maybe two weeks. So it's not like a paper that will just burn off in like a nah, minute? It, the way it's made, you light it up and it has the incense, but it, it stops itself. Uh, so you can literally light it up and go to sleep and you don't have to worry about it, keep burning. Oh, nice. That's the way it works. So I'm going to buy one of these. Uh, this is very good. So just that. And they have, you know, artifacts. Um, you know, um, this is a little Haiti, so you got all kind of stuff. Artifacts. I mean, they uh, they even have bracelets for like, um, like someone can bless the bracelet. Like you say, hey, I want a bracelet. And they can make a, a bracelet and someone can bless the bracelet. So it's kind of like good luck. Oh, really? For protection. Oh, wow. Yeah. You have bracelets or no? See, there we go. I'm going to get a blessed bracelet. Yeah. Oh, wow. So is this where they also they also practice voodoo? Uh, it could be. It could be uh, Santeria. San, uh, Santeria. They got the trinkets, everything. Uh, the cafe on. 
Come be so. Same gold. Same gold. Five dollars. Mm. He's burning up right there. What is that burning? Incense. Incense. That's this. So I guess you could put it in that and. Mm. Okay. Okay. So these stuff is good. So we recommend some people to come here and definitely get that. Our, our Haitian artifacts, everything. Right by the, um, the Haitian uh, complex. Right by the Haitian complex. You know what you should try? It's a Haitian drink called Akasa. Uh, she's from Africa. Why is he saying no? He's saying Akasa. Mm -hmm. It's not easy to find it. Wow. It's not easy. Uh, Tell me about the drink. What are you saying you should try it? Akasa is a very famous Haitian drink. Um, they, uh, it's like, what do they use to make Akasa? I don't remember. It's like a, a milkshake kind of, mm. and it's called Akasa. And also another alcoholic drink is uh, Creme. Okay. That's good. How much for a shot? You want to try a shot? No, you don't. No, you don't. You try a shot. No, I don't want for sale. Oh, you want to try a shot? It's free. Yeah, it's free. Yeah, it's free. No, thank you. Yeah, you can try a shot. No, it's, reg it's alcohol with, with cream. You can try a shot. Try a little small shot. That's yeah. it. It won't get you drunk, I promise. Yeah? Yeah. It's like cremas. Just a little bit. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Now. Mm. Yeah. It smells like chocolate. What do smell is this? It smells really nice. Like, yeah, it's like really caramel. Good. It's really good. Wow. Really good. Mm. So I told you it was good. You see? I told you it was good. Now you like it. Uh huh. <laughs> Too bad he don't sell it. He don't sell it though. That's for him personally. <laughs> I told you it was good. Like uh, I would get nightmares like maybe once a once a week yes. and I didn't know why I was getting these nightmares so I'm like why am I getting these nightmares so my family some people told me don't sleep with a black shirt on so I don't sometimes I don't sleep with black shirts and um, and I decided you know somebody told me about sage which is this light this up in your house kills the evil spirits and ever since then I actually the first time I took this I haven't got any nightmares oh, wow. and I'm still not getting nightmares so I said man I don't know but but this got rid of the nightmare so for me it means something so that's why I believe that so I, as we were saying earlier actually before the people from Haiti practice voodoo but there is good voodoo and bad voodoo apparently not it's it's like a religion some people use it for good and others use it for evil so it depends you know so don't rubbish it all off because you never know yeah, that other stuff you want to purchase anything? No, I'm good. Jesus Christ. I thought this is a voodoo shop. Why am I seeing Jesus on the wall? That don't mean people don't believe in Jesus Christ. You can oh, really? It. Yeah. Oh, so you could still use voodoo and still believe yeah, in Jesus? Of course, yeah. That don't mean you don't believe in Jesus Christ. Okay. 